Hey, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. And today I'm working on a big X Mark zero turn lawnmower. And the problem with this thing, uh, it lost spark on one side. It's got a V twin Kawasaki engine on it, and it lost power. And uh, after doing some tests, I found that the coil on the right side is not putting out spark. And to absolutely make sure, you need to get to that coil so you can unplug the kill wire that goes to it so you can make it absolutely sure it's the coil that's dead and not just the short in the kill wire somewhere. Uh, the engine model is right here. And to get to these coils, this is a horizontal shaft engine, so it's got a shaft coming out the front of it. And to get to the coils, uh, first take the four screws out that hold this debris screen on and slide it forward. Uh, then you're going to need, uh, on each side of this engine, down here, there is a metal guard. Here's the one that came off of this side. And you need to get these out of the way. It goes down in there like that. And there's two bolts on the top of it and two bolts on the back edge of it. And they're kind of a pain. You're going to get your hands down up in a little hole, but you got to get this off the right side. There's another one of those little metal covers that goes on this side over here. And it's the same thing. It's got two bolts in the top and two on the back edge. And this one on here, there's two relays that are bolted to the back of this thing. And you have to get a, pull the relays out of their socket and get a Phillips head screwdriver and take the little relay brackets off of this thing so you can get it out of the way. Once you get those two out of the way, you got to get this plastic shroud loose and it's got eight bolts holding it in place. There's two on this side. They also hold the fuel pump on. There's two right there. And then there's one down here and one down really low down here. Then you come over to the other side and there's two bolts up high, just like the other side. And down here, these two bolts are actually uh, also little studs and the oil cooler mounts on them. So you have to take the little nuts off to get the oil cooler loose. And then one at a time, you're gonna pull this oil cooler out of the way so you can back the stud out. Once you do this one, then pull the oil cooler up out of the way to back the bottom one down. Once you get all that done, uh, you can pull the plastic shroud forward and there's one coil right there. And the other coil was right here. I've already taken it off. It was the bad one but now I can replace the coils on this thing. And I recommend replacing both coils at once. Don't just put one of them on it. This mower is eight or nine years old. Just do them both while you're in here. Uh, but I'm gonna stick two brand new coils on this thing and stick it back together. And this gotta be good to go. But anyway, I just wanna show you what you need to do to get the coils off of this Kawasaki without taking too much crap off of this thing. Anyway, thanks for watching.